Okay, uh, hi guys, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, as you see, um, an uh, artist entrepreneur. It's a funny thing because uh, since yesterday I've been uh, being asked questions about, uh, so girl, what are you doing here? It's actually a tech conference, it's not for artists. Well, yes, if you, if you think about art, uh, that art set trends for tech, and you think of Steve Jobs, uh, the beginnings were just calligraphy, then uh, fonts and uh, computers. And um, there is also another thing which is interesting, that um, whether you're an entrepreneur, individual trying to do something in business, or an artist, then you are a uh, startup. Uh, the funny thing that um, made me in startup is that on my day of graduation, I was told that, um, well, basically within a couple of months, but certainly after three years, I'll probably fail. And uh, at Academy of Fine Arts, which I graduated from, it is said that 90% um, of artists fail to do anything. So the same thing is with um, startups. So there is a value of death. So you've got two, three years uh, to make it, or then you just fail, yeah? So artist, uh, entrepreneur, individual is a startup, yeah? So we've got some numbers. Uh, so we've got one, nine, and 90, Was it? what is it? So here we've got a chart, almost like an accountant. Uh, so we've got a chart that presents uh, what is 90, what is 9, and what is 1%. So 90% represents a percentage of people who don't know where to go, and they don't know how to get there. Um, then we've got 9%, uh, which stands for people who um, know where do they go, but they don't know how to get there. And then there is a one lucky percent who know where to go and how to get there. So you've got to find yourself in these um, proportions. So uh, where to go and how to get there is based on idea, yeah? So to do something, to succeed, you've got to have an idea. Everything starts with an idea. As Clement Stone said, what the mind can conceive, the mind can achieve. And you just, guys, take a look around. You know, everything that you have, your accessories, uh, your phones, there were, the beginning was in someone's mind, yeah? So then it came to being. Um, but then, you know, the thing with idea is that idea can be good, idea can be bad, yeah? Any idea is actually good, but why does it matter? I mean, it does matter because you've got to have the best idea. So basically, sky is the limit. Um, so here we've got um, a comparison between good idea and the best idea. So the guy here is employee of the month. So he had uh, some good idea, he wanted to reach something, but he settled for the second best. Then this guy didn't take no for an answer. I would like to say that he also didn't take any prisoners, but in fact he did, didn't he? Yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, so we've got uh, morning. So wake up, guys. Let's play. Let's guess. Who had an idea and who made it big? So do you have any idea who's this guy? No. Okay. Then. Yeah. Okay. So this guy uh, had an idea. It's not only about finances. Yeah. So you need to like have an idea what to do. These people here that I'm going just to show you, they're of a different provenance. They didn't have that much of a financial background. All they wanted to do is to reach high. Then we've got this guy. Any ideas? Cute kid. So, okay, so he was born in a village called, uh, well, his parents actually, in a village called Mikova, somewhere in Slovakia. Have you got any ideas? Yeah, so he, did he do it big? Yeah, okay. Then we've got, uh, Johnny should know that. Posh Spice, okay. So uh, she said that she wants to be as famous as Personal Automatic. Do you have any idea what is Personal Automatic? Washing powder. But there are people who don't know that, which only proves that she made it. She made it big. Okay, so this is how she looks now. And um, this guy. Interesting, interesting. So he ran uh, the biggest multinational, the oldest company. All right, and now we've got an uh, example of this guy. So he had it all, basically, yeah? So he was a U.S. Olympic champion. Uh, he represented USA somewhere, uh, somewhere in the 70s. So he had it all, yeah? But then it turned out that he was in this 9%. So 
he knew where he wanted to go, but he didn't know how to get there. And what did he want? Guys, he, all he ever wanted was to be a girl. So this is, this is him, yeah? So now you can call him Kaylin. Um, but the thing is that, okay, so you've got an idea who you want to be, how you want to get there, but th it's all about the execution. So uh, idea number one is how to make it. So you've got to fake it till you make it. If you don't believe in yourself, then no one else will believe. Uh, it's simple as that. Uh, so you've got to convince, first of all, yourself that you can make it. Then you've got to get more exposure. I mean, I don't necessarily encourage you guys to go full frontal, uh, but uh, there are other means of doing it. So Andy Warhol once said that there is a lot of channels by which an individual might attain fame. Uh, anyone can become famous for a brief period of time. And then Warhol meant TV. Now we have smartphones, so we've got individual screen that we can do whatever we want to. Um, so, uh, so we've got phones, we've got channels, and um, uh, the guy here, probably know him, he said that 80% of success is uh, basically showing up. But we know that time is precious, yes? We don't have time to go to all the parties. If, if we accepted all the invitations you got, then you wouldn't have even time to work. So uh, it would eventually lead to failing. So there are other means of doing it. So you can actually get more exposure, you can still show up in many different places by using social media. Uh, so why social media matters? Some people say that, well, it's not for me. I don't want to post my photos. I don't want to expose myself. I don't want to show my life. But, you know, it's just like a tool. You can say a hammer is bad, yeah, but it's not a case of um, destroying. It's a case of building, yeah? So you don't have to necessarily uh, post your bikini photos. Um, so how to do it? The way I do it, I use 3T method, which uh, I think works. So first of all, you've got to tease. And I don't recommend stripping online, unless you want it. Uh, but um, so when you post a photo, you've got to uh, post just a snippet, a piece of information, and it's basically like throwing breadcrumbs that would lead to something bigger, which is, for example, your uh, website. Um, then um, uh, teasing has also uh, is also uh, bad because if you tease your uh, audience too much, then uh, yeah, they would piss off. <laughs> it's true, uh, but they would eventually uh, bail uh, on you. Uh, so you've got to deliver the carrot eventually. Yeah. Okay. So we've got tease. Then we've got number two, which is tag. Okay. So tagging is really good. Uh, tags allow you to reach people you haven't reached before. Uh, there is also the thing with Facebook. So since Facebook supports uh, tagging, uh, all the uh, major secondary sites have the residual effect in bringing in the new clients. But tags have also a uh, double nature. So it's okay to uh, load up as many tags as you want on Instagram. but. Uh, I'm sure guys are using Twitter, so you know that space is really limited and um, you have to use them sparsely, not to uh, clutter too much. Um, and then number three is tell. So you've got to spread the word about what you're doing, uh, how you're doing it, and uh, the best thing is actually you know, to post it everywhere. But then the thing is tricky here. I mean, if you have the same followers on your multiple accounts, then again, these guys would just get pissed off and they would be really annoyed, they would bail on you. Uh, so the way I do it, because I do have different kind of uh, social media, I uh, post firstly on two or free uh, accounts and then um, I spread it over time. Um, okay, so we've got an idea, we've got a plan, we've got a call to action, so basically this is a startup view. The thing with startups, as at the beginning I said, is that in 90% they fail. So if you fail, then you're sad. And it's like Winston Churchill said, success is going from failure to failure without a lot loss uh, of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is a key word, guys. And why? Because your attitude does matter. So we've got here this thing. Let me see what your mad dog face look like. I'm, I'm sorry, what's a mad dog? You mad dog! <laughs> like a pit bull with no leash. <laughs> That's a mad dog. Wow, I knew you were the right guy for the... Oops. Let me see what your mad dog face look like. 
I'm, I'm sorry, what's a mad dog? You mad dog! Ooh, ha! Like a pit bull with no leash. Ha! 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 That's a mad dog. Wow, I knew you were the right guy for the job. Let me see it. Okay. <clears throat> ha! That's terrible. No, that's, that's horrible. Anger, you gotta show me anger. Why are you smiling? I'm not smiling, I'm tense and I'm agitated. Come on, man. Mm. Huh, that's your mat. That's it. Yeah. Your fiance left you. Huh? That's right. You 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 happy about that? Uh, no. Then get mad. She gonna leave you? What is she doing? Shut. James. I'm sad dogging you. I think that's a strategy that could work. No, I don't. I don't think it's a strategy that could work. Hey, listen up, everyone. I'm extremely sad. Please don't sexually assault me. I'm already too sad. All right, so uh, the guy said that the strategy doesn't work. It doesn't really work because when you're sad, you're depressed, everything is bad, you know, there is no productivity. So you've got to be mad. So uh, I went through this phase too. I mean, I was sad, but then I chose to be mad. Uh, these are my two paintings. So the painting on the, let me see, left, yeah, good. Yeah, so the painting on the left shows my um, sad dog. So I graduated from Academy of Fine Arts. I was told that I will fail. I thought to myself, well, I'm so qualified, I'm so talented. Why there is no emails? Why, why nobody's calling to me? Guys, like, what the f is going on? Um, and then, you know, I, I started to ponder on my life and I came to the um, to conclusion that it sucks, you know? And so, the thing was that also, you know, at the academy when you're studying, the, the school is terribly, terribly conservative. I'm using uh, medieval techniques. I use pigments with Yolke Vag. It's like 13th century, whatever stuff. Anyway, I paint these things. They are controversial. People at academy don't really like it. They say it's porn. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, they expelled me from uh, one of the art studios saying that, you know, if you keep on doing what you're doing, then we've got to get rid of you. But you know what? I thought like, okay, so you expel me, you fire me, okay, so this is the time to reinvent myself. So I thought, okay, let's do it. Let's get my mad dog face. So my mad dog face resulted in me going uh, online. So I decided to set up different accounts on different social media. And uh, what do I use? I use Tumblr, I use Instagram, I use Facebook, I use Pinterest, Twitter. Um, so if you're entrepreneurs, if you have some startups, you've got to decide for yourself which um, uh, social media channel will be the best for you. Since I'm a visual artist, for me the best obviously is Instagram. And um, I started using it about a year ago, I think, and um, I decided to do it by myself. So there are some ups and downs. I mean, you've got to um, spend some time, but uh, the following is okay. Uh, and then uh, I got some offers of uh, art shows uh, all around the world. Uh, but using social media, um, it's not only about following, of course. I mean, shares and likes, they uh, give you the buzz. But you've got to decide what is your call to action. It's just a mean, yeah? So uh, it's not the end. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram to see uh, what's going on and to have an insight to my paintings. Yusena Kishelevich, everybody. Let me just check. Uh, we have some time for some questions, so if anyone uh, has anything to ask Yusena? No? Come on. Yeah, Titus, I knew I could count on you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't be shy. So my question to you, Justina, is how do you connect all of these sad people who are in this room and are not involved, and they should be here for social media, and they're techies, and how should they get excited about art? Why aren't they excited about art? Can't they see that this is big money? like big money today and people are selling big art in Silicon Valley? Well, you know, the thing is that, yeah, people kept asking me this question, so what are you doing here? Why art matters? And so I think that the, you know, the thing with uh, tech guys is that you don't actually see the potential in art. Art is not just about investing. Uh, so uh, there's, of course, this uh, fear of missing out FOMO. 
uh, but there is something more in art. I had visited a few startups in Silicon Valley. There was one from 500 startups. It's called Van Gogh. These guys are actually trying to uh, make art uh, approachable for everyone. So um, they are trying out some uh, price ranges. So they are selling art for $100. And um, the thing is that, you know, the actually question is, can art be for everyone, you know? Like, if you look at the history, art was just for elites, you know? So, hard to say. I mean, get excited about art. If you don't get it, then just try it out, you know? You can always, you know, miss it. You don't want to miss it. Any other questions? Your Justina is uh, very hard to miss, so, and she's cruising around for the rest of today. Oh, we have one here. Fantastic. Saved by the bell. Coming up to making money on <laughs> on yeah. art, let's say. Do you see do you see any kind of new emerging business models for artists to get to reach the audience or to sell their art? Uh, just not normal like sale uh, of paintings, for example, but something something different, something innovative. You're asking about some platforms, like how for example, yeah, something yeah, business models for selling art. If you know anything about this. Um, so as I already said, Van Gogh is this idea. Um, uh, there, there are, for example, um, things like platforms like Saatchi and Saatchi. You know, it's not really good because uh, it's time-consuming. So uh, I joined it once and I dropped out because it's just too difficult. Uh, I think the best way to uh, reach people is our social media. Really, in fact. Uh, because, you know, it has all changed, like in old times, uh, people, artists had to uh, ask galleries to be represented. Now it's all the way around, you know, the, the galleries are chasing after the artists who have a lot of followers. So if you don't reach out to people, if you, if you don't expose yourself, then, you know, no one would ever know that you're there, you know. So it's also a case of popularity. If you're popular online, then people are going to come to you because you're creating a brand. Yeah, so if you're uh, creating a brand, then some companies, whatever they are, whatever they're dealing with, they want you to be their ambassador, to represent them, you know, and this is what I do, yeah. So I'm closing down the deal with uh, some companies that, you know, they see what I do and they see that, that I've reached out to people, you know, and they want me to be, you know, their face, their ambassador. So this is the way how to do things. So this is why I said that social media is just a mean, it's not the end. Thank you very much, Justina, for that. Uh, Justina Kishelevich, everybody, she's hanging around. You can't miss her with the, with the glasses, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so many thanks. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back right back. Thank you, guys.